Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Remco from rjvguitars.com. I'm going to show you this week's new arrivals. Um, it's going to be a long video. I'm counting about 15 new arrivals, so um, get a cup of coffee and uh, enjoy. We're going to start off with this 2019 Les Paul Standard 1958 reissue. Very nice top, as you can see. Comes with all the paperwork, original lift and case. Very clean, just some wear on the headstock, as you can see, but no cracks or issues. Very nice guitar. Alright, on to the next one. Another Les Paul. This is a Les Paul Standard 1959 and lemon burst finish. It has all the historic specs. Most accurate to date, Gibson said. Everything included. Very nice guitar. Not too flamey, but a very nice vintage look, right? Bit of a greeny vibe. So, the start was good. Two nice Les Pauls. Alright, on to the next one. Let's go on the acoustic tour. This is a D45 Martin. But not just any Martin D45. This is the Woodstock edition. It's a limited run of 50 May to celebrate 50 years of Woodstock. It has some very nice details, like the inlay here, interior label. This is number 44 or 50, ebony fretboard, spruce top. Sitka spruce, East Indian rosewood web back. I take a look at the dove, the piece dove. Nice inlay, and the binding isn't plastic but maple. Beautiful guitar. The D45 is the real classic, right? Papers. This is just. And take a look at this case. Alright, on to the next one. Let's do something more heavy. The Charvel Damhagen signature. I had this one a while ago, but here is another. Reverse headstock maple neck. Heavy sounding guitar. Evergrey player. Sold out, limited run from 2000. These are very hot items. And that's no surprise, they look cool, they sound cool, they play great. Comes with a Charvel case. Okay, let's do another Les Paul. This is a Les Paul Custom Light from the year 2013. It's a limited run. It has a very thin body, a lightweight, and rosewood fretboard. A very comfortable Gibson Custom if you're not into the heavy normal customs, this is your thing. It has the gold hardware, the multi layer binding, the whole bunch, the big headstock with the diamond, the block inlays. It's just a thinner body. Let me check. See? Thinner body, lightweight. Comes with checklist, original case, manual, and original plate. Someone put a Les Paul custom plate on it, but. This is the one with the guitar originally. Okay, on to the next one. Here is a very special one. This is a Music Man Luke. A Lukather 2008 limited run in Sequoia Gold finish. With a gold hardware. Very elegant guitar. It's, it's hard to get it on video, but it's sparkly finish. Brownish yellow. Please see the website pics, they look more accurate. Very nice guitar. With a lovely bird's eye maple neck. Take a look. And the back has the burst as well. And the limited edition case. 
which is like a crocodile snake leather kind of texture very cool one right okay on to the next one and let's pull again this is a 1993 Gibson Les Paul Classic Plus. Cherry sunburst finish. Thin neck, ceramic pickups. Nice thin flames. Original classic from the 90s. The 90s guitars are very hot. Great quality, great tone. Really sol solid. Great ones. And this one is no exception. Okay, let's go over the Danhagen to something else, a Strat. This is not just any Strat. This is a Todd Krause master build, Eric Clapton signature, 30th anniversary. This guitar was built to celebrate 30 years of the Eric Clapton Strat. And it was built in a number of just 30 guitars by Todd Krause, Clapton's master builder. At least it's a master builder from Fender, but he builds most of Clapton's guitars. It's a journeyman relic, so it's a light relic finish, as you can see here. So it's not as heavy as the Blackie, which you can also get from Krause. It's a tribute, but this is a more recent one from 2018. Very limited, you can see some finish checking here. It has the noiseless pickups, the boost function, it's all the modern electronics but with the vintage look and feel. Great feeling neck, by the way. Very collectible, only 30 made. All right, on to the next one, another acoustic, this time by Gibson. It's a 9034 model, built in 2013, also a limited run. Beautiful sound. Round shoulder, predecessor of the J45, comes with checklist, case with a pink or purple interior, mahogany back, spruce top, lovely, lovely piece. Okay, and here's something you don't see every day, an Ibanez musician from the 70s. With a neck through maple neck, rosewood fretboard. This one is from 1979. I usually don't really buy these kind of guitars, but I really like the 70s look of this one. And a neck through maple. Got me as well. All right, on to the next one. Another pretty special one. A Dave Grohl Gibson. The DG335 is a Trini Lopez model with the diamond F holes, diamond holes in gold. It's a limited run of 400. This is number 302. It's a nice inlays and a famous headstock. Comes with a certificate, checklist. Interior label has Dave Grohl written on it. You can see. Really, really cool guitar, right? Original case, very collectible. The Foo Fighters are such a hot band. Very fat neck on these. Very, very fat neck. 58 profile. But what a cool piece. If you're collecting Gibson artist models, you have to have one of those. Is my opinion. All right, on to the next one. This is a Gibson Les Paul classic 120th anniversary. It's um, it doesn't have robot tuners and all the and the wide nut and everything. This is thankfully just before that era, so 2014. But it does have an active boost circuit and push pull single coil function. It has a lemon burst finish. All complete. Papers, case, everything. Ver versatile guitar. Okay, on to the next one. You can see these on my channel pretty often as well. 
another knobfler has arrived. In the hot rod red finish. As most of the times these have some dings and dongs here and there, the finish chips very easily. But overall, these are no longer made for many years, so it's pretty cool to, have, to find and have. If you're into Mark Knopfler and the Dire Straits, this is the good stuff. Comes with all the papers, brown Tolex case, with some tape on the handle. <laughs> so, those were this week's arrivals. I hope you liked them. Please check out my website rjvguitars.com for availability. And if you have something nice to sell or trade, please let me know. Maybe we can make a deal or trade. If you want a collection sold, I can also help you with that. So please subscribe and like and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.